Hey Luke with Viewpoint Recap here and today I'll be discussing a psychological drama movie titled Dog Tooth from 2009. The film begins with three kin assembled in their family's wash room, two young ladies and one kid. In truth, the three kin are now at an age where they can be called grown-ups. Sadly, they don't wear an obtrusive garments and have whimsical attitudes as well. To put it plainly, they have grown-up bodies. Be that as it may, their brains are still of a kid. The kin are paying attention to a tape, tape containing a language address. The most youthful girl then, at that point, recommends that they ought to play a game. Most of them oblige with their sister's solicitation and continue to play. In a little while, a lady wearing a security uniform named Christina rides inside a vehicle blindfolded. Considering that she is having an agreeable discussion with the driver, it's unmistakable she was obliging this enthusiastically. It just so happens, the driver is Thay. Father of the three kin prior, the dad and Christina show up at Thay, house where the kin reside. There, the dad drives Christina to the room of his child. He then leaves the two and allows them to engage in sexual relations. While the child and Christina have intercourse, the whole demonstration has absent any and all any indications of closeness or association. Basically, Christina is there to support the child of her manager. Afterward, while awkward remaining inside the family, Christina chats with the more seasoned little girl. The dad then, at that point, inquires as to whether he can film a video of them, Christina can curse. Minutes after the fact, the child goes along with them, and the dad proceeds to film the grinning countenances of his youngsters. Over the course of that time, Christina, as it were, has an abnormal look all over. The dad then, at that point, pays Christina for her administrations. What's more, blindfolds her again prior to driving her home. Sometime thereafter, the kin put on their best clothing and get ready for their family supper. At supper time, every one of the youngsters demands a particular thing from their dad. The dad then, at that point, requests each from them about the stickers that they have. The child has the most stickers, the most seasoned little girl next, and the most youthful has the least. The dad compliments the child for having the most stickers and winning the challenge. As a prize for his triumph, the child can pick the family's amusement for that evening. The child asked his dad for a video, so he set one up utilizing their VHS player. The video wasn't a film however a home video that the dad shot some time back. Being credulous, the kin tracked down the video. Sufficient for their diversion, the child washes his dad's vehicle the following day and afterward goes close to the highball later. He gazes at the tall grass for some time, then talks towards somebody outside. It appears he is attempting to rival somebody, declaring that he is better at washing his dad's vehicle. Minutes after the fact, he starts to toss stones over the highball. His folks see him and choose to rebuff him. The guardians force the child to take areas of strength for a what's more, hold it inside his mouth. He should do this for a moment before he can let the mouth wash out. The dad goes to work and sees Christina at the entryways of his work environment. He then, at that point, asks her when she will visit once more, and they settle on a timetable. The dad invests some parcel of energy into guaranteeing that no undesirable visitors come to his home. He makes his colleagues trust that his better half is crippled and loathes having guests at home. In the meantime, his girls thumb themselves out with chloroform as a game. They conclude that the person who awakens first will be the champ. Sometime thereafter, the more established girl snoops on her mom and hears her chatting with somebody. Things being what they are, the guardians have a phone, yet they conceal its presence from their youngsters. After work that day, the dad visits a canine instructional course to get his canine back. The mentor denies him on the grounds that the canine isn't prepared at this point. He visits his canine and sees that it needs really preparing. Prior to returning home, the dad goes through all the difficulty of eliminating marks on his food. He does everything to guarantee that his youngsters don't advance anything about the rest of the world. Soon thereafter, he engages in sexual relations with his better half, during which the two of them have earphones on. On Christina's following visit, she requests that the child give her oral sex. The child denies Christina's solicitation in feeling a dread toward his faults. After their meeting, a baffled Christina asks Thay, more seasoned little girl to give her oral sex for a headband that shines in Thay. Dull. Following Christina's model, the more seasoned little girl requests that her sister lick her shoulder and gives her the headband in return. One evening, the child plays with a toy plane. At the point when the more seasoned little girl chooses to battle, what's more, take it from him. The more established girl then chooses to toss the toy outside. From that point onward, she slices his sublings arm girl, a blade, and her mom rebuffs her for it. 
the more youthful sister lets her sibling know the thing. Best way to get the toy back is to ask their father for help. At the point when the dad returns home later, his child requests that he recover the toy plane. The dad gets back in his vehicle and rides up. Few crawls out of their entryway to pick the toy. At some point, the child tracks down a feline in their garden. Since he had never seen a feline, he was alert and unfriendly towards it. Minutes after the fact, he chooses to kill the feline, utilizing garden shells. In the interim, his sisters watch him inside the well-being of their home. The mother reports this occurrence to Thay. Father, prior to returning home that day, he tears his garments and spreads counterfeit blood all around his body. He then lets his youngsters know that a feline killed their sibling. Furthermore, that he attempted to save him yet fizzled. From that point forward, he shows his youngsters felines. As indicated by the dad's lessons, felines are the most hazardous creatures. He adds that they love to eat meat, particularly those of youngsters. He then trains them to carry on like canines to drive felines off from here on out. After the serious preparation, the family holds a memorial service for the pretend relative that passed on. A couple of days after the fact, that's what the guardians declare. The mother is pregnant. They say that she will bring forth twins and a canine. The kids despise this declaration since they don't need to share their rooms. The mother, then, at that point, says that assuming the youngsters act, she could adjust her perspective on giving birth to the twins, however not the canine. One evening, the dad puts a couple of fish in their pool in the wake of returning home from work. Minutes afterward, the more youthful sister tracks down the fish, also, and forms her dad. The dad professes to know nothing about it and takes out his spear to chase the fish. While eating the newly gotten fish for supper, the dad requests that the kids recount their home guidelines. As per their home guidelines, the youngsters will possibly be permitted to take off from the house assuming they lose their dog tooth. It is the point at which their bodies will be sufficiently able to deal with the rest of the world. After supper, the dad inquires as to whether the youngsters need to pay attention to their granddad's tune. Furthermore, they joyfully say "Ok." The dad puts on a record, and the tune that plays is Fly Me to the Moon. Incidentally, that's what the kids trust. Their granddad is Candid Sinatra. Since the kids can't figure out English, the dad interprets the melody's verses. Tragically, he interprets it in an unexpected way, ensnaring the the tune as about family love and another hogwash. On Kristina's following visit, she inquires once more, the more seasoned girl for oral sex. This time, she will give her container off. Here gel in return for the lickings. The more seasoned little girl contends that she needs the VHS tapes in Kristina's pack. All things considered, Kristina declines from the beginning however gives in after the more seasoned little girl coerces her. Soon thereafter, the more established girl watches the films she got from Kristina. The next days, she impersonates what she saw from those films. At last, the dad finds what occurs. Furthermore, rebuffs her. Subsequent to taping, one of the VHS tapes to his hand. He crushes it over and over on the top of his little girl. He additionally visits Christina at her home. Also, crushes her VHS player on her head. Prior to going out, the dad curses Christina. He adds that this is discipline for all the insidious that Christina brought to his loved ones. Since Christina is not generally permitted inside their house, the child no longer has a sexual accomplice. The guardians stress over how to manage the sexual desires of their child from that day forward. In the end, they choose to do the unspeakable, and that is to have one of their girls handle the errand. They let the child choose which one to go for, and he picks the more seasoned little girl. After their most memorable sexual experience, the more seasoned sister begins expressing lines from one of the films she has watched. Utilizing those film lines, she lets her sibling know that she'll tear his guts out, assuming he rehashes how he's treated her. The sibling didn't have any idea how to answer his sister. He just took a gander at her with a frightened and befuddled look. The guardians commend their wedding commemoration at some point, and the kids should perform for them. Prior to that evening's festivals, the more seasoned little girl tells the more youthful one that her dog tooth is moving. The more youthful girl inspects them and tells her that it isn't correct. During their exhibition, the child plays the guitar while the girls dance to the music he is playing. A couple of seconds after the fact, the more youthful little girl gets drained and joins the guardians at the table. The more established girl has passed on to move alone, yet she wouldn't fret. She kept hitting the dance floor with the equivalent of kilter. Dance ventures from the beginning however felt exhausted by them. She moves to flashier dance steps. She moves like a crazy person for very some time until her mom stops her. 
Soon thereafter, the more seasoned girl takes her hand great to the washroom. What's more, crushes her teeth with it. Later, a few difficult and ruthless endeavors. She at long last severs her canine tooth. She then, at that point, checks out at the mirror happily. She accepts that she is presently prepared to leave the house and be all alone. While the rest of the family is uninformed, she races to her dad's vehicle and conceals in the storage compartment. In the interim, the more youthful girl goes to his dad's room. Also, licks him. She was doing this in trade for her dad's spear weapon. The dad denies her solicitation and continues to the washroom after that. In the washroom, the dad sees the blood-filled sink. He then acknowledges something happened to the more seasoned girl. Mindful of his girl's vanishing, the dad begins searching for her external the compound. The whole family then, at that point, madly looks for their missing part in obscurity, without electric lamps. While the dad proceeds with his pursuit, the rest of the family changes into canines. They bark uproariously at the entry of their door with tail. Any expectations of shielding the dad from feline assaults. Subsequent to abandoning the missing girl, the guardians have a short discussion over a glass of squeezed orange. In the interim, the child and more youthful little girl share a little kiss prior to dozing together. The following day, the dad shows up working, leaves his vehicle, and continues to enter the work environment without actually looking at the storage compartment. The film closes unexpectedly with the storage compartment of the vehicle. Buy in for additional recordings like this. Turn on notices and leave a like.